everyone in this video i am sharing with you how to set up two-factor authentication for pi wallet this is a step-by-step -step guide to set up 2fa pi network 2fa secure your pi wallet and migrate to mainnet now hey pioneers big news from the pi network if you are planning to migrate your pi to the mainnet you must set up two-factor authentication, that is 2FA, to secure your wallet. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step guide how to enable 2FA, who needs to do it and why this update is crucial for your Pi security. Let's dive into it. So, what exactly is two-factor authentication or 2FA? Simply put, it's an extra security layer that makes sure only you can access your Pi wallet. It requires something you know, like your login details and something you have, like a trusted email. This helps prevent hackers or unauthorized users from stealing your Pi coins. If you are serious about securing your Pi before migration, setting up 2FA is a must. Now, the question comes that who needs to set up 2FA because everybody, sir, everybody must set up 2FA, everybody must set up 2FA. Funniest thing, some people have set up 2FA previously unknown to them, like myself, because I've done a lot of things, I've set up the 2FA. My email is linked, or I have, the, I have my passphrase also with me that I can, I can use. So who must enable 2FA? Now, let's clarify something important. Who needs to set these up? If you meet these conditions, you are required to enable 2FA. Number one, if you have completed KYC verification, you are qualified to set up 2FA. Number two, if you are eligible for mainnet migration, that means you are set up 2FA. Like in my case, I have locked up any pie at a mine for the next three years so that I can, make, I can get maximum mining rate. So, Another, the other category of people that are qualified to set up 2FA are those who receive a prompt to set up 2FA in the Pi Network app. On the other hand, if you have, if you have not yet completed KF, KYC, you won't be able to set up 2FA right now. But don't worry, you just complete your KYC as soon as you can. So, now, who cannot enable 2FA? Number one, people, this category of people that cannot enable 2FA are pioneers who haven't completed KYC. So if you are yet to complete your KYC, you cannot enable 2FA because even Pi does not know you. KYC means know your customer. So even Pi Network does not know you. And now you want to set up 2FA. So that is number one. Number two, accounts that haven't been prompted for 2FA. You are supposed to be prompted for the 2FA, but I see many people online saying that you can go to, um, when you go to the mainnet, you click on the three lines by the left on your Pi mining app, then you go to mainnet at the number two on the list, you click your mainnet, and then you click, go to number the third um, part, which is talking about um, your account and other things, then you click on it, then you now go and then follow the process and ask it to link. When I went, everything was intact. I put in my, um, I put in my passphrase, and then I saw that I could I could see what I had on the Pi Mining app. I saw everything on the in the part in the in the other side, and everything was intact. So those people that those things are not intact, that means something is wrong. Those people need to do their two FA. But to keep things okay and just to be safe and secure and to be double sure, even if you have done the two FA before, you can then go ahead and repeat it, as those people say. Some say you can repeat it while you are mining. Some said you have to wait until one mining session ends. Then before you start the second mining session, you go ahead and do the two FA. Anyone that suits you, you can do it. You see, everybody just saying what they think. But actually, you have to be notified that, see, we are do two FA. Just like you are notified to do K um, KYC. You don't just go on Pi and just start doing KYC. They have to invite you. They have to notify you that you have to apply that you want the KYC and they notify you and you must complete it within three months. I did my KYC in just one day. I completed everything. And within one week, everything from up to down was uh, green. So 
who cannot enable um, 2FA pioneers who haven't completed KYC accounts that haven't been prompted for 2FA. Now, let's look at the step-by-step -step guide to setting up 2FA. Now, let's go step-by-step -step on how to enable 2FA in your Pi wallet. I've seen many people, many videos talking about this in different ways. I mean, people in many groups giving shared information on how to do it. But let's see the step-by-step -step guide now. And then you can compare and contrast it with what you have in already. Number one step is open Pi Network app. First, open your Pi Network app and go to the minute checklist. If you are eligible, you see an option to set up 2FA. All these, in fact, all these 2FA issues, I went on the major Pi um, information uh, places on Twitter, on Telegram. They were not even talking about these things. It's um, like a Binance is talking about it in their news and some other people talking about it, independent people on Facebook and other places. So I went directly to Pi. The Pi is not major on the 2FA. So, but it's important that you do it. This is because many people have already done it. It's not for everybody. But just to be double sure, there's no harm, you can repeat it. So you now see an option to set up your 2FA if you are eligible. Then you add a trusted email. The next thing you do is enter a valid email that you frequently use. You see, my own, in my case, to log in, I use my email to log in. I use my email to log in. My email link with my password. That's what I used to log in. So I don't log in and say, okay, I want to log in. No, I now put uh, something. I now put my password. No, already my email is what I used to log in. Already I have my passphrase. You understand? So the, the two-factor authentication for me is already done. My email was used already to register. I don't, I don't know if you get it now. So the next thing you do is to enter a valid email address if you have not done that before or if you want to repeat it. That you frequently use. Make sure it's secure because this will be your key to accessing your Pi wallet in the future. Don't use Instagram to access your Pi wallet. Don't use your Facebook account to access it because you can lose your Facebook account. But your, your email is difficult to lose. It's difficult. Um, Facebook can ban your account. Anything can happen. Now, after that, email verification sent. Pi Network will send a verification email to the address you provided. Go to your inbox, find the email, and click on the verification link. The next step is to complete the live next check. After verifying your email, return to the Pi Network app and proceed with live next check. They want to check if you are live. So they will say you should look straight into, the, into, the, into it, into the screen. Look straight into the screen. At another time, they will say you should look this way. And then as you are looking, you have to be looking at the, the, the app. The, the app, at another time they say you should look this way, at another time they say you should raise your head a bit, and as you are raising your head, still be looking, and then all these things, they want to be sure of who you are. So the liveness check is a facial recognition uh, check. This is a facial recognition step to confirm your identity. Then the next thing is face scan in progress. Follow the on-screen instructions to capture a live image of your face. Pi Network will match it with your KYC data to, ver to verify your identity. This actually is part of the process of the KYC. So when you are doing 2FA, they, they, it's repeated. So the step four is 2FA successfully enabled. Once your email and liveness check are confirmed, your 2FA is now activated. You get a confirmation message. And from now on, every major transaction will require email verification. You get it now. So that's why it is called two-factor authentication. You enter, then you also need your email for you to be able to do any major thing on the app. Now, what happens if you don't set up 2FA? Now, what happens if you don't complete your two-factor authentication is set up is that you, the things you need to know, you will not be able to migrate your Pi to the Mai to the minute. Number two, your Pi wallet may be at risk of unauthorized access. Number three, future security updates may not be available to you. So, if you want full access to your Pi and a smooth migration process, set up 2FA as soon as possible. I will advise you that you should go to your email and check all the messages you receive from Pi. Maybe you have also seen Pi Network or you search for uh, Mainnet, Pi Mainnet, or you search for 2, 2FA, Pi 2FA. 
if you have done it before, you may be lucky to see the mail where they say you have done it before, so that you can just you don't just go ahead and re repeating what you've done before. So many pioneers are asking, will this update push the price of Pi coin higher? Well, stronger security increases trust in the network, making it more attractive for users and potential investors. Some analysts believe this could drive the price up, while some are indifferent. So whether 2FA verification will drive the price of Pi up or it will not drive the price of Pi up, it depends on the market to or no, or to identify. Now many people are bothered the price of pie have dropped to less than one dollar. Let me tell you, go. I'm going to even do an analysis comparing the time difference it took Bitcoin to rise to ninety something dollar, ninety something thousand, eight something thousand, one hundred thousand dollar that it reached. So I will do an analysis from this time to this time when it started. This was where it was. From this time to this time when this was where it was. From this time to this time this was where it was. When Bitcoin was fourteen thousand dollar, I knew. In fact, I traded, <laughs> I traded it. I won't tell you details of how I traded it, but I traded it. If I had known, I would just have bought it and left my money there. Today, it will be a different story. Pi Network is something that is in, in that is in how that is happening now. Apart from Pi Network, another one that just starting is Delta Mining App. I will leave the link to the Pi Network and Data Money app in the description section of this video and so that you can go there and use my link to join. Now, if you're already on Pi Network and you're already mining, you can add friends in the Pi Network and then you can also follow friends in the Pi Network. My referral code or my username on Pi Network in case you want to add me as a friend or you want to follow me is 11DAFID. That is not O N E one, not O N E one. It's one figure one, then D A F I D I one, D A F I D I. That is my username on the Pi network. So search for me there, and then you can add me as a friend. You can add me as you can also follow me, and I'm going to receive any friend request I, I get. I respond, I accept it, and I also follow everyone. In that category so i'm going to talk to you in the next video and um i want to have i want to have your questions and your comments in the description section of this um, in the comment section of this video and then um, what do you think about this two-factor identification and the current price of pi subscribe to this channel like this video and then share the link of this video to family and friends this is the next video that you need to watch now for my channel go ahead watch it because you'll be glad you did i'm going to see you in the next one until then happy mining